if the whole thing will get that much it'll really make a good show and look at this one look at the color in it it's about the only one on there right now maybe they'll fill up too there's a really big one right there you can see how big it is in relation to the whole arch man that would really be pretty if they all bloom out like that and cover it up watermelons are getting big enough that I'm having to put them in their little sling and another one down there I think one more on the end down there I counted all of them, the little ones the other day and there's about 20 watermelons on here cantaloupes too are getting big enough that I'm having to put them in a sling and you can see how they're growing over the arch here's one that I think it's going to be ready in a few days. It's getting that little vein looking skin on it. This one I'll have to be slinging in a little bit. And I got one more right there. I counted all of these, the little ones that are hanging on it, like that. And if they all produce, I counted 55 cantaloupes on here. And even though they're not ripe yet, look at all the tomatoes that I've got. These are called Arkansas Travelers. I don't know if they're going to be a pale pink or turn red, but that's a pretty color. Look at all of them on that. Got a bunch of them on this one too. I haven't counted all of them, but there's quite a few. This one's got some big tomatoes on it. That's my little black cherry. It's got quite a few, but they're smaller ones. This one's got two or three big ones there, two or three big ones over there. One there, a couple of them back there. This is the Cherokee Purple, which is uh, going to be a dark tomato. And here's the little volunteer zinnia that came up in the walking path. It's got a whole lot of bloom buds on it. I guess it's all going to be white, but that's okay. Here's what it looks like when that cantaloupe begins to turn. You see the skin down there? And then it's still green up here. So you can see it's starting to put on that little vein type skin in certain places. And it's still green. I've never seen that before. That was pretty cool. Got a little bit of sunshine coming up on these. Makes them glow a little bit better. These are doing okay. I'm not real pleased with them. I thought they would be bigger and bloom better. But they haven't. And even though the gladiolus kind of looks sad, they're still doing pretty good. They're real pretty as far as the color. They're bad to bend over when the wind blows. And this is the elusive cat bean. It's coming up with the other beans. It's kind of different. Its head moves every once in a while. What you doing, buddy? This is the geranium. The red one. And that's the pink one. Not looking quite as good, but still got some more blooms that are going to come out on it. There's the other elusive cat. So there's a look at all the tomatoes that still haven't gotten ripe yet. 
the cantaloupes that are being put into the slings and the watermelons that are also being put in there oh yeah I forgot the okra it's doing well too and that's a check on the garden on this really beautiful morning we'll talk with you later